<laughs> Are you muted now? Ah. Is that you now? I'm a what? We told you you had to unmute yourself. Well, yeah, I know people have been saying that for years. Steve, what the hell are you wearing? Oh, yes, yes. I, I couldn't work out how to do that, uh, you know, the kind of the fancy Zoom background. So I just decided I would decorate the foreground instead. Yeah, yeah I'm not really sure that constitutes decoration, Steve. Sorry, what is that? Oh, yes. Yes, very funny. Very funny, Dan. Yes, very good. Very good. And how dare you, Rach? I will have you know this is an authentic 1960s Star Trek the original series uniform. Ready, guys, guys, well, okay. guys. Uh, look, I've got to get back to catfishing my neighbours, so can we just get a move on with this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so listen, we have the last episode of Those Who Can't Do Lockdown coming up, and we need a big finish, you know, as of a grand finale, as it were. Yep, okay, well, I've been thinking about this, and I was thinking we could recreate the end of The Wicker Man using finger puppets. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean that sounds class, Rich, but you do have somewhat of a history of setting yourself on fire. So. Oh, oh, look, look, summer is a coming. In. No, 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 no. Listen, Rich. Sorry, finger puppets do not say grand finale to me. Well, okay. What have you got then? Ah, well, I reckon that I should take our audiences on a grand tour of my extensive collection of Doctor Who merchandise. I have some 1970s jigsaws that will take your breath away. Steve, Steve, Steve. What? Refer to the raccoon. Oh, oh, what about um, my uh, Ulster Scots translation of Machiavelli's The Prince? Isn't Machiavelli an Ulster Scots name anyway? Danny was Italian. Sounds like he was from Lawrence. Uh, right. No, listen, listen. Why don't I dress up as Susie Sue from Susie and the Banshees and lip sick to Peekaboo? No, Steve, we want to give people a big feel good finish, you know, not to give them nightmares. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm completely out of liquid eyeliner, but I'm pretty sure I can make do with a biro. Uh, guys, guys, guys. I've got this. What? Well, I know the perfect way to finish this off. Oh, 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 that's what she said. You. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. Cut it out, you two. Listen, Dan, Dan, if this is going to be another instance of you helping yourself, yeah, then I'm not having any of it. We had way too many complaints after the first episode, all right? Yeah, yeah, keep up for the private collection. Yeah. Okay, guys, don't worry. I'm the master of finales. I've done it before, okay? Trust me, it's going to be class.
Hello, my devoted followers of Goop. That's right, it's me, Gwyneth Paltrow, checking in with all my loyal Goopies. I hope you're all keeping well and safe in these, as they say, uncertain times. As you know, we're all in this together. And so, although I am self-isolating in my 27-room palatially appointed mansion in the Napa Valley, I have specially tricked out a couple of rooms to make it look like I am talking to you from a regular three-bedroom semi-detached house in, for example, South Belfast. This shows that I can relate to all of you non-luminous, ugly people out there who can't even afford to drop $275,000 on a lunar rock edition of Norman Mailer's Moonface whilst chomping on a dehydrated caviar bar. Now, as you know, I have been a bit quiet over these past few pandemic-filled months. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a teensy bit discombobulated at first, what with people listening to actual qualified actual scientists and completely ignoring the task force that I had set up to explore how psilocybin-infused crystals could be the new healing modality when it comes to viral loads. But then I decided to focus on the positive aspects of my current being experience, as well as being able to intershare more time with my beautiful children, Apple and Microsoft, this period of rest and reflection has made me step back, reassess what really matters, and more importantly, search out new and ever more intriguing things to shove up my vagina. That is not to say that I am unaware of the suffering that is happening in these uncertain times. But as that beautiful saying goes... When it is night, look for the stars, and when it is raining, look for ways to monetize that crisis. As someone who has already sold a toilet roll for $965 even before all of this, I swear I am born for this moment. We are Ingrid, Trusilla, and Boris, internationally renowned performance art troupe. The inner children, legends of lockdown. Queens of quarantine. Socially distant shock troupe storming the sandy shores of art. Seductive art. It touches you. It enters you. It devours you. Like a terrible virus. From which you never recover. Tonight, the inner children are here in the spirit of togetherness. Like other cultural icons, we wish to give you art for free. A gift to help you through these challenging times. Through the medium of the internet, we reach out into your homes. With important messages during this time of worldwide crisis. You are welcome. It is time for you to bear witness to our new work, especially designed to deliver hope positivity and warm thoughts to you during your time of isolation. It is called... You brought this upon yourselves. We begin. Listen up, you Philistines, to the lesson that we teach. Cutting through all the fake news like a syringe full of bleach. You turned your back on beautiful art. It seemed like such great fun. Now art has sent you to your room. To think about what you have done. Your TV schedules were full of dross. Your cineplexes too. Bookshops filled with celebrity rags. Music an execrable stew. But art will give you a second chance. 
Art can heal in time. But pay heed, foolish Philistines. To our devastating rhyme. Use your time in lockdown. Maintain your social distance. Clap loud for art and walk the path. Of cultural self-resistance. But when all this is over... And you go blinking into the light. Remember what we've said to you. Do what you know to be right. If you falter, and oh dear peasants, I fear not if but when. The inner children will be at your door. To lock you down again. We end. Want to buy some yeast? It's fast acting. Hello everybody, Karl Marx here. Are you all keeping well? Good. In the wake of the current crisis, are we all now beginning to see that the true wealth of a nation derives from the labour of the working classes? Hmm? Key workers? Hmm? Yeah, I told, I fucking told you so. Yes, well, sleep well in the fire. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my baking demonstration. Today, I'm going to be doing sourdough, which I think, as you've found out over these past month, uh, is an essential thing to do if you are middle class and in lockdown. Now, I think they find that uh, with sourdough, obviously, it's different from regular bread. What you need is a starter. Um, but to make an actual starter uh, for sourdough, takes ages, you know, you need to feed it and take care of it and not let it die for like, you know, eight to ten days. And sure, who has time for that? My my trick for um to get the starter going is normally I would invite Dan Leith round and just uh, just get him to just comment upon anything that's happening in the world, especially in the arts. And the, the bitterness from that just normally seeps right into the dough and gets me started. But since he's not here, uh, what I have to do, resort to, I can recommend highly, is these wee jelly sweets that make... Uh, they make your face go oh, whenever you eat them. So um, so that's what I'm going to use for these. So we're going to mix this all up here now. And this takes a while. So we'll probably cut away. I mean, I assume that's what they do in cookery shows. Now, in this cooking demonstration, I'm going to ask you if you find it interesting or helpful, make a donation. You know, just via PayPal or something. And, uh, you know, normally I wouldn't ask, but uh, but this time I'm going to ask you to maybe give us something. Why? I'll tell you why. Because I need the dough. Huh? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! So once you've got something that looks approximating that, Simply put it back in the bowl. Uh, maybe put a little bit more olive oil on top of it. And then cover it with a bit of cling foam and leave it in a warm place to rise for uh, say a few hours or about as long as it takes to watch the Torrent Inferno which is what I'm going to do now. Hi, so welcome back. Um, Robert Vaughan died, but the cat was okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put it onto a greased baking tray, uh, preheat the oven to uh, about 200 degrees. And then we're going to just put it into the oven. Um, 
and uh, yeah, leave it there for about as length of time as it takes for them to get into the uh, into the castle in where he goes there. Mmm, artisan. So I am proud to announce that from tomorrow, Goop will be selling its own bespoke rainbows online. Yes, through the harnessing of the spirit energy of some zebras and a really sharp knife, we have developed the ability to carve slices off of actual rainbows and deliver them to your front doors for a very reasonable exorbitant price. So now, you can show that you care for the NHS and key workers just that little bit more than your neighbors who couldn't be bothered to do anything more than display the crappy efforts of their talentless crayon-wielding kids. <laughs> you will be able to choose from a variety of famous rainbows, such as the one from the children's TV show, Finian's Rainbow, Gravity's Rainbow, and a few select pieces of the one that Judy Garland sang about in The Wizard of Oz, perfect for all our friends of Dorothy friends. Conversely, those of you who are concerned that all of this flashing of rainbow regalia might be construed as a bit fruity-like, we are offering some pieces of the bit that comes out of the prism on the cover of the dark side of the moon as it is totally straight. We are also offering not only fragments from Bifrost, the rainbow bridge to Asgard from Norse mythology, but also some very rare and precious pieces from the original Noah Covenant rainbow, which can be yours for a very reasonable ten million dollars. <laughs> Who says that you can't find a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow? <laughs> so get ordering now, and you could be more ostentatiously caring than anyone you know. Meanwhile, I'm off to consult with the head of my Goop Vaccine Task Force to see what progress has been made. And do you know what, my dear Goopies? There are a lot of things we are unsure of in these uncertain times. But I'm willing to bet a healthy wad of greenbacks that the key ingredient to the eventual vaccine will in all probability be found up my hole. With a big jam roll. Much love, GP. It's finale o'clock.
Steve might have really that's, messed up the ending. That's, that's, yeah.